Another really popular visual in Power BI is a matrix. Now a matrix is similar to a table in that it supports data in rows and columns, but the difference with a matrix is it has multiple dimensions. It has a sort of a stepped layout and it often aggregates the data. So we are able to sort of um, scope it out that an intersection of a row or a column has particular values that belong to it. And you can use functions like sum and average and max and min and count and so on and so forth. You can even show values as percentages. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually create a new page. So at the bottom here, I'm going to hit this little new page button, this plus, and there's my new page called page one. I want to rename, so I'll double click, population density is the name of this page. And I want to drag it and I want to just put it immediately before the median age page. So just there. Now, if I go to Population Americas, there's a few things I want to grab from here and copy and paste onto my Population Density page. I'll click on America's Population, hold the Shift key, click on this slicer, and hold the Shift key down still, and click on this back arrow. So there's three um, visuals I've got selected here. I'll go Control c I'll go to Population Density, and I'll go Control v to paste them. Now, as soon as I paste them, particularly the slicer, it says one or more of the visuals can stay synced. Do you want to keep it synced? And I do. So I click the sync button. And so that's coming back to something we looked at in an earlier video, that when you click something like a slicer and you go to view in the ribbon, there is a sync slices button. And so now I can see that all the pages are showing, that's this eye here, are showing the year slicer, and all pages are synchronizing. So if I choose a particular year on this page, it will synchronize with all the other pages. Now I want to change this um, heading from America's population to population density. Okay, now what I want to do is click on a blank part of the report canvas and I want to add a matrix. So when you look at your visuals, this particular button here is matrix. So I simply click that button and there's my matrix there. So what do I want to show on my matrix? Well, first of all, I want to open up the density query. And from density, I want to grab continent. And I want to make continent my columns. So I drop it into the columns bucket. And so here I see my continent as columns. And I'll just stretch it a little bit so you can see better. And maybe even move it. And just pop it up here. Now I also then want to see my countries as rows. So I drop country onto rows. And now if I stretch it vertically, you can see I've got countries as rows and I've got continents as um, columns, very much like a pivot table. Now where the two intersect, I want to add a value, which is density. So I drop density into my values bucket. And so I can see the density by continent and by country. But I want to add a second instance of density to my values bucket. So you can add a value twice. But why would I want to do that? And why I'd want to do that is because this density figure here, first of all, I'm going to click this drop down here, and I'm going to change it from adding up and summing up the densities to giving me the average density per continent and country. So I change it to average, which affects the figures that I'm seeing here. And if I want to, I can go back into here, and I can actually also rename this visual. So I'm just going to call it average density instead of average of density. So that's one piece of information I want to say. And in fact, what I might do is I might just say that I just actually want to see the average because I think density is a given. And so I'll press enter. And so there's my average, my average, my average. Now the second instance of the second instance of the density value is because I want to hit this V, and this time I don't want to choose a function, though here are a list of all the functions. I want to go into show values as. And I want to show values as a percentage. And I'm actually after a percentage of the column total. So I'm going to choose this option. And so now I'm seeing a percentage of the column total. And I really need to rename this as well. So I'm going to rename for this visual. And what I want to call it is just percent, the symbol. And I'll press enter. And so what I'm seeing is the average density for this continent, Africa, broken down by its countries, and then I'm actually seeing the percentage of that density as a percentage of the column total. 
And as I scroll down, you can see all these percentages here. So it's very much like a pivot table. Um, I can resize this particular matrix, and so I'm happy with that now. I can also decide to change the font size. So I'm going to click on my Format Your Visual and type Font Size. Now here's the font size global, um, so I'm going to take that to 8 points. And you can see it's reduced the font size of my matrix, which just makes it a lot easier to see more information. And then I'm just going to re reduce the size of the matrix. So take the font size down. Um, I could click here, go into there, and if I search for font, I've got the font size global, I've got the font size for values, the font size for text, column headers, row headers, and subtotals. So I did a global change of the font size to 8, but if I wanted to, I could set a different font size for the values, a different font size for the column headers, a different font size for the row headers, and a different font size for the subtotals, and so on and so forth. Um, but I just wanted to universally make it 8. So a matrix is a very powerful visual that allows you to show two-dimensional and add aggregate values.